move over. <laughs>
Holy Father. Lord, we come this morning to give you all praise, honor, and glory unto your holy name. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we come to thank you, yes. to thank you for all the wonderful work you've done in creation. Lord. Mm -hmm. yes. All the wonderful work, mm -hmm. all the wonderful things you've done in our lives. Oh, yes. right. Lord, you watched over us and cared for us all the days of our lives. For yes. well, you knew us even before the world began. Thank you, Lord, Thank you. for all the blessings you've given to our family, on every family, Lord. Yes. We pray that you would continue to bless us all, oh, yes. for the world is in a terrible state. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Bless yes. us. Yes. Bless us despite all of our sins and transgressions. Oh, yes. Forgive us all of those sins that yes. we commit. Yes. Lord, we thank you. We look yes. thanks to you from where it comes all of our yes, help. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for blessing us by waking us up this morning. Yes, Lord. Allowing us to set one foot before the other and come out of your house to work. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for looking in on all the sick people, on their sick beds, everywhere throughout the world. You know every need. You know our very thoughts, Lord. And so, Lord, we ask you to help us along this Christian walk, Lord. Yes. Teach us to, to think righteous and godly thoughts, oh, yes. and, and help us to walk in your path. Yes. Thank you, Lord, Thank for you, Lord. all of your blessings. Yes. And Lord, we pray that you would come into our church service this afternoon. Yes, sir. Bless us each with understanding, so that we may be more receptive yes. to your word. Oh, yes. Bless us all, Lord, and keep yes. us. Yes. And it's in the name of Jesus. Christ, our Lord and Savior, Amen. Amen. Let us stop saying for the call of worship. We are gathered in this place this morning. Allow your spirit to fill our spirit with thee. Most gracious and loving God, we remember the struggle of our people, black people, people of African descent, your people. And thank you for your grace, your love, and mercy. We thank you for leaders that you continue to place in high places, in ordinary places. Inspire each of us to work more faithfully for the justice and dignity of life everywhere. Lord God, we remember the hurt of exclusion and prejudice. But we know that you can raise our condition above all barriers and give us wisdom and courage to make this a better world. And as you give us yourself in the bread of hope and the cup of mercy, show us how to give ourselves to those who are without hope and those who cry for mercy. Lord God, rule over our spirit in this hour that we will go from this worship with the freedom of those who trust in you. Amen. Let the words of my mouth
our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
running through my mind that if the Lord says so the same, that's a pike history of love. I don't think it's going to be that song. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, let's just read the words. <laughs> uh, Rolling Johnson, Amen. Boy, the book that song, Amen. It make it easy. Amen. So we pray that the Lord will allow us to next year. Lord, uh, it's going to be become this for my faith. Amen. 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 Thanks to God, we made it uh, through. Amen. All right. There is a sweet, sweet spirit in this place, and wherever the presence of the Lord is, oh, yes. Oh, yes. there is a sweet spirit. Whether we recognize that spirit or not, uh, there is a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And it is the spirit, I know it is the spirit of the Lord. Amen. There's a
legitimate fear. Maybe not a dreaded fear, but uh, fear. You know, I'll just say that uh, anything that we have not experienced before, amen, have a tendency to uh, create some fear. You know, I've never had a, a certain surgery. But if I uh, was told I'd have to have it, mm -hmm. amen, yeah. as a human, yes, sir. and as a person with faith in God, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. there still would be some yes, sir. fear, yes, sir. Uh, because I'm yeah. going to experience something mm -hmm. that I've never yeah. experienced yes, before. Yeah. Amen. 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 Say, But the Lord had promised that He would never leave us. He would never forsake us. And uh, so many of us here today can be living witnesses of the power of God over sickness and disease. And I'm talking about what somebody told me. Some of us have gone through it. God has healed our bodies. Yes. And we can be the witness yes. that what He done for yes. me, mm -hmm. He'll do the same for you. Yes. If you just trust Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so today we can encourage all of you and just continue to trust Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Don't know what the future will hold, but we know who holds the future. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And that same God who holds the future, he's the God mm -hmm. that holds our hand. Amen. And there's nothing that can befall us that he don't already know about. And have made ways of deliverance for us. Amen. <coughs> Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. 1 Thessalonians 5 16 through 18. This is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. As we got a prayer, we remember this morning, the Brian Williams, Mother Orr Rivers and family, Mother Orr Williams and family, Sister Bobby Jane McCoy, Sister Mabel Wolf Walker, Sister Ruth Walker, Brother Jane Joy and family, Sister Orr Holloway, Sister Evelyn Jones, Brother Lawrence Gary, Miss Kelly Owens, Miss Claudette Danvers, Miss Denise Towns and family. This Ramona Glassford, Mr. Moore, Mr. Moore, of course, Mr. Stephanie Goldfield, Mr. Irving, family, Mr. and Mrs. White, and we're praying for Brother Jimmy, Sister Marie, and uh, Amy Man, Sister James' brother. We all know what that is. We're praying for him, his hospital wives, and, uh, you know, Thank God he's the one who knows the Lord. Amen. 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 He calls all the Bible itself. Amen. You just see him on the feed. It's all the scriptures. Just Amen. 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 So we pray that God will touch and bring healing to his body. It's a door stripped in his always language. Mel Beckley is battling fuller. It's a holiday. Mr. Rick, Rick Williams, Mr. Holly, Mr. Earl Jackson, Ms. Linda Meredith, Mr. Paul Robinson, Mr. Marcus Gartner's son, Ms. Regina Gartner, Mr. Leonard Jackson, Ms. Diamond Coleman, Mr. Gay Branch, Ms. Patty Hayes, Prince, Tia Johnson, and Dr. Brenda Hilling to her body. We know that he 
It's April. We're praying for the people around the last week that God will continue to uh, touch and bring healing to his body. And there's so many more of our friends and brothers and sisters that stand in the need of prayer. That we lift them up on today as we pray. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Creator of all living things. And God, we say thank you for allowing us to come before your presence with all of our shortcomings and all of our sins. You allow us to come before you a holy and a just, righteous God. And God, that's a blessing within yourself that you could give us an audience with you. And God, we say thank you. As we come, God, we come remembering our sisters and brothers, our friends and loved ones who are not doing as well as we are. Some are experiencing sickness in their bodies. Others, oh God, are experiencing other troubles. But we know that you're able, you are a healer of all sickness and disease. And there is no problem, trouble that you can't solve. And so God, we come now asking your help and your deliverance to all of those who have sent word to pray for them. Look at every hospital room, every home, oh God, every nursing home, every behind prison wall, have mercy upon your people everywhere and give them strength. Help them to realize this day, even this day, that you are yet with them, that you haven't forsaken them, neither have you denied them. Oh God, and we pray that you give them a mind to look up to you and live. God, we say thank you. You're so worthy of our praise. Oh, yes. Over and over again, you keep on blessing us. Oh, yes. And God, we say thank you for life, health, and a reasonable portion yes, sir. of yes, sir. health and strength. Oh, yes. Thank you for protecting you. us as we move about the dangerous streets yes, and yes, the highways. God, you kept us. Mm -hmm. Watch over us while we slumber. Oh, yes. oh, yes. All night long, but yes. you kept us and protected us. Yes, yes. And we say thank you. thank you. We pray for this entire church body, yes. every member of oh yes. God, that you yes. would bless them yes. with such blessings you see they stand in need of. Yes. That you would bless their homes, bless their children, and their entire families. Yes. God, we say thank you now. Go with us and stand by us and help us, oh God as we go through. Yes. Keep us from all hurt, yes. harm, yes. and danger. Yes. God, we say thank you. As we worship, we pray, yes. oh God, that your spirit would manifest itself in our midst, that we would leave here feeling better than we felt when we came. Thank you, God, and give us that mind to open up to your spirit. Oh God, that we might hear you speak to us. Uh, we say thank you. Bless us and keep us. It is in the name of Jesus, our Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Let us continue to pray one for the other, for we all stand in the prayer. Amen. Amen. As we go forth, I don't know that we have any presenters uh, today, but so that we thank God for uh, this month of Black History Studies. Amen. Amen. We enjoy ourselves on this uh, month. Yes. And this is the last Sunday uh, that we will celebrate here at the church. But Black History is something that we celebrate uh, year round. Amen. So we are grateful for all that we heard of this uh, month. Amen. Let me uh, say again, as I did last night, certainly thank all of our brothers and sisters, those members of the church that were present uh, yesterday at the uh, birthday celebration uh, that my sons and daughters put on for me. And uh, as I stated uh, last night, I'll stay.
say it the same thing that they did. You know, I didn't have nothing to do with it. So you didn't get no invitation. Don't look at me, because I didn't didn't send no invitation. There were some people that uh, called and said they didn't get invitations, and I think my uh, daughter called them and uh, mailed them a new invitation. Amen. And if you stay in my area, you might get your invitation next week. Amen. Because uh, folks that live in my area, uh, sometimes we don't get mail. We don't get mail. Amen. Sometimes I get my mail. It's a stack of it. Yeah. And some of it I don't. I don't get it all. Right. Yeah. Sometimes I get other folks mail. Amen. And when I get other folks mail. You know, I know. I I know. I take it to them. I give them back. But some folks got my mail and they just kept it. Amen. Amen. And believe me, it wasn't no junk mail. Yeah. Amen. Mail was just too much information with it. And I never received it. Amen. And so, uh, as I said on the last uh, week, last night, so if there was any problems with anyone, uh, don't, waste, don't waste your time with me because you're not the wrong person. All right. All right. All right. Amen. 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 But we want to thank all of those that came and certainly all of those came and said they had a wonderful time. Um, out of the 76 people that are as many people that my daughter said everybody showed up that said they were coming. Amen. And we ended up, she ended up having to pay out of her pocket for uh, three extra uh, meals, which wasn't a, a bad uh, thing. Amen. So they were well satisfied with uh, things that uh, went. And we hope believe everyone had a wonderful uh, time. The Lord is good and he's worthy to be praised. Amen. I didn't share this last night, but let me go on I share tonight. My uh, daughter, I think it was Christmas at home. Uh, after we were going to make Christmas things, she said that, uh, she asked, I think she asked me to sit down. She had an announcement to make. And, uh, you know, whenever it's been my, the practice in the past, whenever uh, my daughter uh, say sit down, she got an announcement to make, you know, man, my mind don't even go to no party stuff. My mind go, what is this? Yeah. Last time she had us to sit down, she was showing us the ultrasound. <laughs> hey, man. That's what she told us to sit down. Uh, she had an announcement to make, man, I was, I was braced for <laughs> something else. And then she said uh, uh, this, and of course, uh, I had a mind not to allow her to do it, but then the Lord is uh, teaching me in these uh, days that whenever somebody wants to do something for you, Amen. Don't, don't stop. Amen. Amen. That's a message to all of you out there. If somebody wants to do something for you, don't stop. Amen. If ever somebody will give you something, right. and receive it. Yeah. Amen. 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 So we thank God for all of you that's present. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Amen. Uh, all those service calls for selections. Amen. Uh, from our singing, from our choir, from the acts that they will come at this time. Amen.
follow me daily. Amen. So we have in our text, as we close our practice with celebration, and they compare one. Simon a Cyrene, a man, and Cyrene is on the African coast. All right. uh, if you look at your maps of the Bible, you'll see Cyrene, Egypt, Jerusalem, a man. They compel to bear Jesus Christ. Yet, in all reality, this was Jesus Christ. And none could bear it but him. Simon, and we are glad about that. Simon could only go so far. Amen. Being relieved of his duty, he could now go on his way or stay and watch the crucifixion being carried out. Matthew, Mark, Luke, which is known as the Synoptic Gospels because they somewhat see things alike. Amen. It records Simon of Cyrene carrying the cross of Christ. Cyrene is in northern Africa, 800 miles from. A Simon, like many of the Jews, had convened on Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover. He came to offer, he came with his hand, he came with his land to offer his You never imagined yes, sir, yes, sir. he would come face to face with the Lamb of God yes, yes, yes. who takes away the sins of the world. And I got to look at Yes, sir, yes, sir. He had no idea that he would be cast into redemption history. <laughs> that he would play a major part, a major role in redemption history. All right. It did not seem likely that Simon should bear the cross of Christ. Mm -hmm. For he was a, a stranger. Mm -hmm. The text said uh, that he just passing by, right. uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. coming out of <coughs> the country. Mm -hmm. And he probably knew little or nothing mm -hmm. of what had been taking place well. in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. For he had come from another continent. Mm -hmm. He had long waited to come to Jerusalem Amen. It was by divine providence. Oh, yes. That was it was by the divine providence of God. Amen. He passed by neither too soon nor too late. He was on the spot as punctually as if he had made an appointment to be there. Yes, yes. Amen. How many of y'all know this? Uh, amen. What it is 
God's divine providence. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Similar experience early or late this week where I went to a place looking for a certain thing. Mm -hmm. And there I met a brother that we talked about an hour. Right. Amen. 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 Someone I didn't uh, know that had some similar experiences. Amen. Yeah. And that's God's providence. Amen. It happens. Sometimes we might go to the store, yeah. maybe get uh, some, something, salt, uh, bread or something. Mm -hmm. That's what we think we're going to get. Right. But then many times uh, we've had the experience, got there and uh, got to talk to somebody, and then had to ask yourself, what did I come here? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. You came here for salt. But God had another purpose yeah, yeah. for you going to the store yeah, yeah. at that hour. Oh, yeah. Amen. So, and you met somebody that needed to hear mm -hmm. what you had to say. All right. Well, that's how it was with He passed by neither too soon or too late. Yes. He was on the spot as if though he had made a point yes. to be there. Mm -hmm. Amen. He, a man there in Syria, in North Africa, mm -hmm. must at a certain date, at the tip of the clock, yes. be at Jerusalem mm -hmm. in order that he might help carry the cross mm -hmm. to Mount Calvary. Oh, yes. And he was there. Yes. Now consider this. Cyrene was 800 miles or so from Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Hell yes, And God in his divine politics. Yes. And we talked about this morning. He had called this man mm -hmm. and chosen him had elected him to carry the cross of Jesus. Oh, yes. Think oh, yes. about that. He's 800 miles away. Amen. And God had, and there was nothing, <coughs> there was no ship that could sail without him. Oh, yes. Because God had ordained <coughs> that he and Jesus had cross at this critical time. Mm -hmm. Nobody but Simon mm -hmm. could carry out <coughs> this task. Mm -hmm. How do y'all know God works that way? Amen. 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 Yes. How God works? Oh, yeah. God has to move mountains. Oh, yeah. He'll get you where he wants you oh, to be. Yeah. 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 On time. Yes. Yeah. Have a good week. Out of all of the folk in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. when we read Acts, the Acts of County, one and two, of people from every nation, mm -hmm. every tongue was there. Well, but Simon yes. was God's choice. Yes. A man from Northern Africa mm -hmm. to help Jesus bear the cross. Oh, yeah. Have I got a witness? Yeah. He was quietly making his way through the crowd, eager to go about his own way. And he must have been greatly surprised and distressed when a hand was laid on his shoulder. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And a stern voice said, Shoulder. This man's cross. Mm -hmm. There were no resistance of a Roman soldier mm -hmm. when he gave a command. Mm -hmm. Have a guy with you. Oh, yeah. And then Simon couldn't say, No, mm -hmm. I will not. Mm -hmm. There were no resistance mm -hmm. having received that command. There was nothing he could do mm -hmm. but to bow down oh, yes. oh, and yeah. take the cross. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Amen. Going back to our text, our text says, they compelled one. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. They compelled one, Simon of Cyrene. Now the, one, the word one is putting that so we don't get a whole lot of people in the Bible name was named Simon. Mm -hmm. But this particular Simon mm -hmm. of Cyrene, uh, look how the writer writes, they compelled one. Simon of Cyrene. Listen, he did not volunteer. Right. Simon did not volunteer. Right. He was not asked. Amen. He was forced mm -hmm. to bear the cross. The text says in 21, and they compelled him. Mm -hmm. Have a God of he had no choice. He was force mm -hmm. to bear the cross. Mm -hmm. Listen, not Peter, mm -hmm. who had promised, Lord, I will never mm -hmm. leave mm -hmm. thee, nor forsake mm -hmm. Not Peter who promised, Lord, I will go with you, oh, yes. even unto death, mm -hmm. but sin. Simon. Not James and John. Y'all remember that? Oh, yes. Came and requested seats of authority. Uh, Amen. When Jesus would set up his kingdom. Mm -hmm. You remember Jesus asked him, can you uh, be baptized with the baptism I'm baptized with? Oh, right. They said, yes, we can. Oh, yes. Can you drink of the cup that I drink of? Come on, yes, a week came. But on that day, yeah, yeah. it wasn't Peter, it wasn't James, it wasn't John, right. but it was a stranger yes. sitting in the Syrian from North Africa mm -hmm. that was compelled mm -hmm. to carry Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Oh, How yes. got it? These men were his disciples, Peter, James, and John. Mm -hmm. But a stranger from North Africa, who had been in no way connected with the life and teaching of Jesus. Simon didn't know Jesus. Amen. He had been a follower. Amen. He didn't know nothing about all the stuff Jesus had done. He was a stranger. In time, Jesus ministered in Jerusalem. Simon lived 800 miles away. In Africa. Have a God with Amen. Amen. The providence of God had determined that this obscure individual, Amen, this certain man, should be selected to the high office of cross battle. To the Son of God. Amen. It was humiliating. Amen. Thing to bear another man's hands. Roaming the streets of his cross. It was shameful. Yes, sir. This wasn't done in no dark in the corner. This was done in the light of day. Yes. It was shameful. To have to carry another man's cross. Oh, yes. Oh, and yes. For those that might wonder why, remember, Jesus was God mm -hmm. and Jesus was man. Oh, yes. 100% God. 100% man. Oh, yes. The man, Jesus, who I read the text, mm -hmm. had been beat. In March, mm -hmm. from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall, oh, yes. been flogged, yeah. amen, mm -hmm. been badly, his beard pulled from his face, mm -hmm. he was weak, oh, yes. battered, mm -hmm. yes. and bruised. Oh, yes. He right. left Jerusalem, oh, yes. carrying his own cross. 
That one might be hard for some folks to accept. But Jesus became weak. The man Jesus. You know, he was just like us. Made out of the same stuff. The man Jesus became weak. To the point that he could not continue. Have we got a witness? That's when Simon was compelled to carry this man's cross. Simon did not know Jesus and probably looked upon him as a common criminal, deserving what was about to happen. Probably looked upon him as just a, another thug getting what he had come. Have we got it? And then he probably cursed all the way to God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many of y'all know how it feels to have to carry somebody else's load? Amen. Amen. And how many of y'all can be a witness? I haven't always been happy carrying somebody else's load. Sometimes I carried a load, but I was cursing under my breath. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Simon probably was cursing all the time. Because he didn't know who Jesus was. Right. Look at him as being just another problem, deserving just what he had come. Oh, yes. Amen. Cursed all the way to God. But while he was cursing, wow. he had to recognize, as the song said, Jesus never said a moment of birth. Now we got to While Simon was cursing, he had to recognize that this other Jesus wasn't saying a word. And maybe he was saying that anybody ought to be cursed, it ought to be him. Amen. How God with you? Have you carried the cross to the appointed place? Yes. The place of crucifixion. Simon had fulfilled his journey. But for Jesus, the journey takes a different twist. Simon had finished. Took the cross off of Simon. Amen. But for Jesus, amen, the journey had really just begun. Have a good week. He Simon probably sat and watched the proceeding. I carried this cross for this man. I'm going to watch now and see how it's carried out. Mm -hmm. I've got to That great song. <coughs> Thought about this song in preparation. Was it for crimes that I have done? Well, right. now that's old English. But the, the song really say it was for crimes that I have Done. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. He brought mm -hmm. upon the tree. Yeah. That's the cross. <clears throat> Amazing pity. Yeah. Grace unknown. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. And love beyond decree. How many of y'all know that song? Mm -hmm. At the cross. Mm -hmm. At the cross. Mm -hmm. Where I first saw the light. And the burden of my heart oh, yes. oh. rolled away. Oh, yes. It was there my faith. Yes. I received my sight. Oh, yes. And now I am happy all the day. Oh, yes. I believe that describes Simon as he sat down. Tell me how to witness. As he sat down and watched. 
He said you was there yeah. at the foot of that cross. Oh, yeah. By faith, I received my sight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My eyes was open. Yeah. Who this man really was. Uh -huh. And now, now, I am happy. Yes. Oh, yes. Have a good When humiliation yes. becomes a blessing. Yes, yes, yes. Have a good When Simon witnessed at Calvary, yes. and it brought him to saving faith yes. in Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Have mercy, Lord. Lord. Remember? Simon, amen, traveled 800 miles mm -hmm. from Northern Africa to mm -hmm. Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hell, got to witness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that trip, what he witnessed, carrying another man's cross, mm -hmm. brought him to save faith mm -hmm. in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And he left a change man forever. Mm -hmm. He went home mm -hmm. and shared his experience mm -hmm. with his family. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. In our text, it talks about his son mm -hmm. Alexander mm -hmm. and his son mm -hmm. Luke, mm -hmm. who played a major part in the early church. Mm -hmm. Look at Romans 16 and 13. It was, that was the Simon's son. Amen. Simon went home and told his story, his salvation story. Amen. And introduced his family to Christ. Even so, when you read that Romans uh, 16 and 13, Amen. Uh, Paul, when he mentions uh, Rufus, tells him the grief of Rufus' mother. Who he claimed also was his mother. Right. Have we got a witness? Amen. Amen. Well, I'm going to stop right here. But thanks be to God. Yeah. Amen. All right. Thanks be to God. Amen. That sign. Amen. Represents people of color All right. in the service of when you look at Romans 16 and 13, Paul says, So do Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother and mine. Not only is she his mother, but she, she become a mother to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask me. Hell, I got a witness. Amen. Thanks be to God. I don't know, I can visualize in my mind. I could just see Simon yes. sitting there watching as he took Jesus, mm -hmm. stretched him on the cross, yes. drove nails in his hand, yes. spikes in his feet, yes. Yes. crown of thorns on his head, mm -hmm. and they hoisted him up yes. between earth and heaven. Hell, I got a witness. And then they speared him in the side. Mm -hmm. I believe Simon watched all of this. Mm -hmm. And yet, Jesus never said mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. mumbling word. Folk came by. Mm -hmm. Now we got uh -huh. The Bible said they railed on him. Uh -huh. you know, they wagged their heads mm -hmm. at Jesus. Amen. Indicating that evidently he deserved to be there. He deserved what he's getting. Amen. And when we read the story, clearly the, the two thieves, one on the right and one on the left, it starts out both of them rails on Jesus. And Jesus never says, a moment word. Oh, yes. oh, yes. To find that thief on the right. Mm -hmm. His eyes began to open. Mm -hmm. And he saw something in Jesus. Yes, yes. That he had never seen. Oh, yes. In any other thing. Yes. 
Well, and he says, Lord, 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 when you get to your kingdom, yes, sir, yes, sir. Remember, remember, remember me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And Jesus finally opens his mouth. Mm -hmm. Amen. He opens his mouth and says to him, This day, this day yes. thou shalt be with me yes, in paradise. How we got to do this? Oh, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jesus saves. Mm -hmm. Amen. The sinner mm -hmm. on the right. Oh, yes. How got to do this? So look. There was some good that come out of Calvary. How y'all know uh, there's some good that come out of what seems like the worst situation. Amen. 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 Not only was that thief on the right side, mm -hmm. but I believe Simon, yes. the cross bearer, yes. he was saved yes. also yes. by what he saw yes. in Jesus. Oh, yes. Have God with you? Oh, yeah. Amen. Yes, right. He saw something mm -hmm. in Jesus mm -hmm. that he never seen before. How can a man hang on a cross, well, yeah. nails in his hand, yes, yes, feet yes. beyond recognition? Yeah. How can he yeah. look up yeah. and then look down? Mm -hmm. Look up and say, Father, Father. forgive me. Oh, yeah. Amen. Father, they didn't ask for it, but out of love, forgive them, for they know not what can it do. Simon will now witness that, and that changed his heart, that changed his mind about Jesus and who he were. Well, oh, thanks be to God. How many of y'all are glad about it? Thank you. In our Sunday school lesson this morning, in the, your life or in your world, it uh, mentions in there about every only in believer have a salvation story. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. Every born again believer have a story. Salvation story. I want that you can share with us. I want was lost. But now I found. I was blind. But now I see. Every born again believer have a salvation story. It might not be as what? As a. Uh, I ain't talking the word attractive, but it might not be as spectacular, maybe, as other people's story. But it's your salvation story. Amen. And uh, you have an important role to play to tell that story to others that know not Christ. Tell God with you. That it might make your story might make a difference in their lives. I was sharing with them this morning about an old preacher friend of mine that I imagine haven't heard from a while, but I imagine this time uh, uh, he's probably in glory by now. He's quite old when I met him. And he shared with us his salvation story. He said his wife is going to church and just going to church. And he's a man of the world. He thought that maybe she had a boyfriend or something. So he decided he was going to go up there. Check things out. One night, as he told us, he was pretty well intoxicated. And he went uh, down south. He used to call him the juke joint. Mm -hmm. He left the juke joint. Mm -hmm. And on the way from the juke joint, he would pass by the church. Well. And he said he was going to peep in. Mm -hmm. He wasn't going to go in, but he was going to stand at the door. Yeah. Peep in. Yeah. 
And he said he got back to the church and got to the door. And he told us, he said, he was, some of y'all might remember this terminology, he was eavesdropping on the church. He was just listening and peeking in the door. Eavesdropping. And he said, the Lord saved me while I was eavesdropping on the church. Trying to see what my wife was doing. He said, well, I heard that preacher say something. Boy, he said what he said. He said, boy, he just took off. Okay. Right. Tell the guy with him. And whatever it was, he said he changed him forever. Tell the guy with him. Amen. I don't know about you, but we all have a story. Yes, yes, we have yes, a story to tell. Yes, Amen. Yes, I said you have a story to tell. Yes, Amen. Some people heard some things about me that they... Uh, I have even forgot myself. Amen. Uh, see, young folks said it, and they were there. It must have been true. Amen. 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 And, and many of us in here today, we can say, look, I wasn't as bad as so-and-so. I wasn't as bad as brother so-and-so. He drank every day. I just drank on the weekend. <laughs> I wasn't as bad as sister so and so. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Because uh, the woman that Jesus met at St. Mary couldn't hold the camera to her. Have I got a witness? Yes, sir. Amen. But the bottom line is that because of how good I think I was, I was a sinner. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. And if I didn't change my way, if I didn't accept yeah. Jesus, oh, yeah. and look, there ain't no such thing as a good son. Yeah. Well, he ain't in church, but he, you know, he's one of them good sons. Yeah. No, no. no. Amen. Amen. No such thing as a good son. Yeah. All sin carries the penalty yeah. of hate. Yeah. Yeah. Now we got yeah. So tell your story. Yeah, Lord. You ain't got to make it up. Just tell what happened to you. Thank God for Jesus. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for salvation. Fool. I heard the voice of Jesus. Come unto me and rest. Lie down, lie weary, one by one. Lie here upon my breast. I came to Jesus uh -huh. just as I was. Yes, Lord. Yes, sir. 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 While you have this chance. Amen. The Lord is watching. The Lord is waiting for you to come. Come while the blood is running warm in your brain. Come while the invitation is being extended. Come while you have a chance. When they come out letter, can they through baptism, Christian experience? The day you hear my voice, so I'm not your fault. The doors of the church are open. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now. Just now. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Yeah.
The Lord turned his face toward you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Amen.